My name is Beth Mulbear. I'm from Scott, Louisiana, and I just finished up intake and I am heading to Peru soon. Um, so I just wanted to give a little call to my mission slash one of my conversions that I had. Um, so throughout my life, I graduated college and I got my degree in athletic training. And, you know, I was trying to find my fulfillment in life. I get out of college, I had to take a board of certification test. I ended up taking the test three separate times, failing every single time. So throughout this time, the Lord was really working in that. Um, I, through the failure, He was comforting me. And I realized that it was not about me, but I still really didn't get it at that time. I got called um, by the Lord to do mission trips. Um, I had a desire deep in my heart, but I really didn't know where to go. And I had heard about Family Missions Company from one of my priests um, at my parish. And I decided to look up Family Missions Company and there's a medical mission trip in March to the Philippines. And I was like, oh, let me, you know, check it out. So I went and throughout this time, I had been struggling with a drug addiction. And um, it was a very, very hard time for me. And uh, I went to the trip, I left everything behind and I was like, Lord, you're gonna have to grow me in this. You know, you, I'm, I'm, I'm learning how to surrender, you know, leaving all of this behind and taking this step out in faith. So I went on the trip, I encountered the poor, I encountered the love of Christ through the people. And then at the very end of the trip, we went to the Divine Mercy statue, which is a 70 foot tall Divine Mercy statue. And I remember walking up the sides, the rays, and just surrendering to the Lord at the top. It was a blessed sacrament exposed. And I just remember crying out to the Lord, Lord, I can't do this on my own anymore. This is not my life. This is your life in me. And I want to be a vessel for you to work in. And I just laid it down and I just remembered sobbing. And the Lord brought so much comfort to me. And I remember walking down the other side of the rays and that desire was lifted. I felt free for the first time in my life from that drug addiction. So I learned how to surrender my life to the Lord. And that was the step that he needed in order to call me to missions. The desire was always in my heart, but I couldn't go on until I completely surrendered and abandoned my whole life to the Lord and allow him to use me completely. And so I went back home and I started looking up more mission trips right away. And then I ended up going to India for a month with the Summer School of Missionary Evangelization. And I came back and I knew that this is what the Lord had in store for me. And I knew that it all started with surrendering your life to Jesus.